Hey folks, Bob Thibodeau here. Welcome to, again to Faith Casters and uh, another opportunity to, to help you discover and overcome 10 problems that are typically faced by podcast entrepreneurs. And today I want to talk about technology and equipment. You know, ensuring the podcast audio quality, video quality is professional and, and investing in the right equipment, it can be a hurdle for some entrepreneurs, uh, especially if you're not familiar with, with what it is that you have to do. But, you know, typically I'm talking here about, you know, starting with the essentials, invest in quality podcasting equipment, such as a reliable microphone, headphones, and ensure professional sound quality. You don't have to invest in the absolute best, but don't go for the cheapest solution either. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I started off on a flip cell phone on a free website, and it sounded like I was on a flip cell phone on a free website. So you don't want to do that. Uh, as your podcast grows, though, consider upgrading your equipment. You know, you just use uh, one of those operator style headphones with the the boom mic. That's great to start off with. But as your podcast grows, you need to consider upgrading your equipment gradually, not all at one time. Make use of free and affordable editing software. You know, your hosting platforms that that suit your needs. You know, you don't have to have all the bells and whistles if, if you're just trying to do a basic podcast. Get started small. That's the point. And focus on delivering valuable content, not fancy graphics and all this other stuff, okay? That can lead you to investing in stuff that, if you don't know how to use it properly, it can really diminish the value of your podcast to your listening and, vi and viewing audience. So don't let technology overwhelm you. Start slow, start low, learn what you're doing, learn what little additions that you enjoy having that your audience enjoys receiving and viewing, and then go from there but don't go all in at once thinking you have to have the same software that espn uses and and you know fancy boom mics that that you know uh, all the sound effects and different stuff you don't need that when you're just starting out get used to doing what you're trying to do and then build from there that's the whole point a lot of our members on faithcasters.org they have good ideas they have great equipment they can help you determine what you need all you have to do is ask them and the best way of doing that is by going and joining our platform add your profile as a guest expert or as a podcaster and be searchable you you have your your information in the searchable database people will be reaching out to you to do interviews or maybe bring you on their podcast to, to do an interview with them or you coming on your show to they can do an interview with you. But the first step is drop down the show notes, the links right there, faithcaster.org and go from there. All right. Now be sure though, again, I can't emphasize this enough. Start slow when you're starting to buy equipment. You know, you can invest $400 in a great microphone. It sounds absolutely great. But if 30 days, 60 days down the road, you decide you want to put your efforts somewhere else, now all you have is a fancy hat rack sitting on your desk. You don't want that. All right? So start slow, start low, build as you need to go. Till next time, this is Bob to remind you, be blessed in all that you do.